ketchup and mustard. You wait. Five years from now, all our jobs will be done by robots. I don't need this. Well, you don't see that every day. Eleven K, go ahead. Eleven K, Roger. Citizen reports at four fifteen at Alvera Street Plaza. Eleven K, it's code three. You're crazy. If I'm crazy. It's your fault. Running around behind my back. How am I supposed to trust you? God damn it. Whoa, sir, I think you ought to calm down. Mind your own goddamn business. Why is everybody always on my case? Officer, go! Watch it! Yeah, you you like, me. Mr. Don't shoot me. Give it up, old man! You bastard! Get the bastard! Reinforcements are on the way. Cease and desist. Cover me. Car 11K. Code 4 at Alvera Street, but I'll need an ambulance. Shots fired, and suspect is down. Roger, and the ambulance, 11 King. All units be advised, Code 4 at the Alvera Street Plaza. Okay.
Crime scene is just up the dirt road, detective. How about a scoop for the examiner, Galloway? You could use some good press. Another tramp, another message. Is the werewolf back in business, boys? Do you have a mother, asshole? A sister? How about showing some respect for this poor woman? Let us do our job, and Detective Galloway will give you a statement later. He's good, Rusty. He even sounds genuine. That's Phelps, guys. The war hero. Defending the honor of murdered humps. You're used to it, Phelps. Move it along, guys. You got your pictures, you got your headlines. Now scram. Patrolman, this your beat? Yes, sir. Well, part of it. Kids park here, they use it like a lover's lane. It's a working neighborhood. Some trouble, but nothing like this. It's uh, known locally as the Moors. You were first on the scene? Yes, detective. No one's disturbed the body? No, sir. We cleared out them vulture reporters so Pinker and the coroner could work. They're waiting to talk to you. Go house to house and see what you come up with. What can you tell me about the shoe prints? Men's size eights. Pinker lifted impressions for me to compare back at the lab. Has the scene been secured? Patrolman Houlihan saw to it. The victim's personal effects are still where they fell. Looks like some kind of puzzle or parlor game. Bomba Club? Why steal a table lighter? The victim's bag? Looks brand new. Can't be the one used on the body. of death? It could be the head injuries. She has been badly stomped. Hmm. Interesting. What about this wound on the finger? Something removed. A ring, most likely. I assume it was taken post-mortem. What caused the blunt force injury to the face? Could be anything from a baseball bat to a lug wrench. I'll have more details after the autopsy. What does the writing on the victim mean? BD, like Dahlia, Tex. Your guess is as good as mine. Could be something to it, or it could be the killers trying to throw you off the scent. 
By the way, I'll run tests on the lipstick. Any idea of the time of death? From the temperature, I'd say after midnight. I'll confirm with you later. Can we get to the bomba? Man could die of thirst in a case like this. I don't need this. The werewolf? For my money, a copycat. We can't rule it out. We need to work the evidence. <laughs> You'd love that, wouldn't you? A big head to hang on your wall. The collar of the decade. I've been working evidence on BD case for six months and got nicks. There's a difference, Rusty. Oh, yeah? I just started working it today. Okay, odd shot. What's more likely? The werewolf comes back around, leaving us unknown in a corpse? He clearly has a thing for power. Power over women. Why not power over the police department as well? Let me finish, Phelps. A guy opens his mouth again after six months of stoom. Or some opportunist who's been reading about the BD figures, he'll rip off the ammo and get himself a freebie. That's not totally fantastical. You know, the Examiner and the Daily News might be good at coming up with monikers, but they're terrible for police work. If there's a reason we didn't get the son of a bitch after the short murder, it was them, locusts. Where do you think the werewolf killer is now? Uh, dead by his own hand, stationed somewhere else with the armed forces. San Quentin, another town, another country, who knows. So Phelps, I understand you want to turn this into a big case, but it doesn't work like that, all right? A case will come and find you. you can't make it something it ain't, understand? So you don't think the werewolf has continued to operate in the Los Angeles area? No chance. We would have found him. Where's that goddamn place? Gentlemen, what can I get you? Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. Were you working here last night? Yes. How can I help, officer? You can start with your name. Garrett Mason. You're the regular bartender on nights? I'm a temporary barman. I work for an agency. I fill in at bars across town. Do you remember a woman who came in here last night? Uh, five feet seven, about 110 pounds, blonde hair. About 40 years of age. You mean Celine Henry? Yes. Do you know anything about her? I don't. But the owner, Mr. McCall, serves her most nights. Would you like to speak to him? I would. He sits at the back of the club. Where's a hibiscus? You can't miss him. Is there anything else? Require away, Phelps. I'll stay here. I'm a little parched. Pour me three fingers of rye. So, uh, how's your tuna fish salad? A waitress. Can I have another spoon?
you going to pay for that? Circumstantial. I'm the house officer. That's the spirit. Pour me another. I can check your coat or book you a table. Maybe you want to talk to the owner, mister. He's in the back somewhere. He drove me up to Mulholland and we did some music. <laughs> Say, honey, what time do you get off waiting tables? Detective Phelps, LAPD. We're investigating the murder of Celine Henry. Do you know her? Celine? Oh, Christ. Sure I know her. She and I and Jacob, her husband, we go way back. She was here last night? Sure, she's a regular. Celine is... was a... a lovely woman. Was Mrs. Henry here with anyone last night? Not at first. Celine already had quite a head start. But she attracted attention? Certainly. A few gentlemen became very enamored with her and her stories. One guy in particular. You know him? No. He's been in a couple of times. Did they leave together? Yes, at around 11. If it helps, I made the guy's license plate. You ought to meet Joe's buddy. He's nice, really. I think this could be a great help, sir. Thank you. Mrs. Henry appeared to be missing a ring, torn from her finger, but not her wedding finger. Celine always wore a red garnet ring on the large side. Larger than life, like Celine herself. Did she have it a long time? Sure. Since way back in her flying days. Did her husband buy it for her? No, it was, uh, it was before Jacob. I think you know where the ring came from, and I think you're going to tell me. Okay. I bought it years ago. I carried a torch for Celine in those days. Guess I always have. Her old man never knew about it. You know the husband? Sure I know Jacob. He was in the Corps. He met Celine on a furlough and married her when the war was finished. He put up with a load of shit. Do you think he killed his wife? No. No, not in my opinion. So if it wasn't Jacob, then you probably let her out of here with the guy who killed her. How do you feel about that? Stole the attitude, will ya? I tried to get on to Jacob. I rang him up. Asked him to come pick her up like usual. But... He refused. As she picked some night to push him over the edge. I rang him back around 11.30, but I got no answer. Thanks, Mr. McColl. You've been a big help. One more thing. Would you have an address for Celine? 142 North Union Avenue. God knows I had to send her home in enough cabs to remember that. Say, honey, what time do you get off waiting tables? My eggs were running. Did you cover my shift on Wednesday? I have an audition. A waitress. Can I have a Let's get stool? out of here. Hey, what's the hurry? My stool was just starting to warm up nicely. So, uh, how's your turn to fix salad? Operator, message for KGPL. Putting you through now. Phelps, 1247. How could I help, Detective? I need a registered owner on a license plate, 2Boy8899. Yes, Detective. I'll need to contact the DMV. Shall I relay the details via KGPL? Please.
Thanks. Where's that goddamn waitress? You find the booze helps you get through a working day? Sharpens my investigatory instincts, Phelps. A smart lawyer might use that to throw out anything you collect today. A smart man might know it's unwise to stand between the patient and his medicine. As long as you're not falling over, Rusty, I'll let it slide. <laughs> That's mighty kind of you, Phelps. You know, you picked the wrong job if a healthy thirst offends you, Cole. We owe it to this city to do the best we can in this position. As homicide detectives, that responsibility is all the more serious. Always the politician. It's not political, it's practical. Maybe the men combing Hollywood Boulevard after the Elizabeth Short murder were more interested in sniffing out booze than the clues that would have led to her killer. Yeah, well, if only you'd been there, choir boy. Betty Short would be alive, the Japs would have spared Pearl Harbor, our ancestors wouldn't have tasted the forbidden fruit. Minor syntactical error, Detective Galloway. I never claimed to be able to prevent crimes. I only suggested a proficiency in solving them. Guess that's the drink slowing you down. Oh my god, brother, oh brother. Worse than I could ever have imagined. Thank you. 